thank you to Sanjay Jones for their support on Patreon. Day 15, Moon Day. God damn, we're still in the days that haven't been updated yet? Christ, we really are behind on these days, aren't we? Good afternoon, Grant. I didn't see you at all yesterday. When did you get back? I got here during the afternoon. I didn't see you or Richard, so I assumed that you two were out somewhere. You must have arrived while we were at the grocery store. How was your weekend with Dozer? It was a lot of fun. We went to Brindle, had lunch, went around the strip mall around there. Then we went to a Buddhist temple over there. A Buddhist temple? That sounds neat. Yeah, it was cool. I found out that Dozer's family was originally from another continent completely. I learned a lot about him. Is that so? How fascinating that must have been. And after the temple, we... Oh, whoops. Whoops. Well, after the temple, we went back to the bonsai garden, and he bought me a bonsai tree. Oh, you have to show me! I would, but I just realized I left it at his place yesterday. He had to leave suddenly and go back to the clinic he volunteers at. We both forgot all about it. Aw, that's too bad. I'll get it after practice, and you can see it later tonight. Yay! I'm looking forward to seeing how it grows. I'm sure it'll look beautiful. What else did you do? Well, when you got back, he cooked dinner for me. How was his cooking? It was pretty good. He made chicken uh, paninis. The sandwiches? Yeah, it was really good. After we finished eating, we went to the park to do some stargazing. Aw, oh, I'm so jealous. Seems like you two had a really nice day. <laughs> it was. We had a really good time. Sitting out under the stars last night was really great. It certainly sounds like it. So, I have to know... Are you two officially dating yet? Uh... I... I guess so. He... He asked me last night if I wanted to be his boyfriend. And you said? I said yes. <laughs> That's wonderful! He's such a big, sweet man! I'm so happy to hear that! You've snagged a good one! <laughs> I think so, too. He's a really great guy. It's crazy, because a couple of weeks ago I could barely get him to talk to me. Now... Now it's like he can't say enough. It's amazing how quickly things change, isn't it? Yeah, he's such a wonderful guy. He cares so much about other people. He, he's really knowledgeable about the things he likes, and... And he's got those muscles to die for, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> well, I'm glad you two really seem to like each other. I hope everything continues to go well for you. It sounds like everything is going to go, is going, just going splendidly so far. Thank you, Maria. I, I think things will go great. I just have to get him to open up a bit more. About to head off to practice, aren't you? Yeah, it's about time I head that way. Well, don't let me delay you any longer. Run along and have a great practice, and I'll see you later tonight. And don't forget to pick up your tree! <laughs> I won't, Maria. Thanks. Oh, before I leave? Yes? He really seems to like the plant clipping you gave him, so I was thinking, maybe you could help me grow a little plant for him? Play it for him? Maybe there is some kind of starter kit we could get, and you could help me start something for him. Well, that sounds like a wonderful idea. I think it could be a lot of fun. I could go pick some things up while you're at practice, and when you get back, we can set it up. I've seen a little greenhouse kit at the Hayes Home Improvement Store, and I think they'd be really great. They'd be perfect. Really? That sounds great, Maria. I'd appreciate that. I need to get some things from there anyway, so I'll go see if Richard minds taking me now. Run along to practice, and I'll have something for us to set up when you get back later. Okay, sounds good. I'll see you later, Maria. Practice hard! Back on the courts! I'm ready to get things started today, since we have a match Friday. Still a little sore after Dozer's intense workout from yesterday, but he did say he'd help me with that after practice if I wanted. And I think I might need it. Roar! Giant set of hands grabbed your shoulders, making you jump and nearly fall over. The same set of hands kept you steady, though. Get Dozer! Trying to give me a heart attack? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. I felt I needed to give you a hard time since you left your bonsai tree in my place. 
Yeah, I know. I was just talking to Maria about it before I left her practice. I'll pick it up after practice. <laughs> I'll try not to let you forget again. How you doing today? Have you been well? Aside from you trying to kill me, I've been great. You've been pretty busy today yourself, haven't you? You barely resp replied to my texts. I know, I'm sorry. I was really busy at the clinic again. You don't have to apologize for me to me for that, Dozer. I understand that you can't be chatty while you're working. Uh, okay. I just don't want you thinking that I'm ignoring you, and that's not it at all. I just can't use my phone often. It's fine, don't worry about it. I'm not upset in the slightest. Oh, uh, okay then. Good afternoon, you two! Hey, coach. Good afternoon, coach. Are you two ready to get started? You guys will be with me today, so we can get ready for your matches this week. Yeah, I'm ready to do this. Me too. I want to make sure we're both at the top of our game for our match. Good! We're going to work on the baseline accuracy today. It'll benefit both of you, but I think it'll benefit Dozer the most. I've already set up the court you'll be playing on. There are cones marking off areas in the back side of the court. Your goal will be to return the ball, making sure it lands in the designated square. You can aim for the center cone, but ideally just landing inside the square is good enough. This drill will help both of you work on your aim on aiming your shots. I'll have the ball machine set up at high speed so you two can alternate hitting. You're, you'll aim for one square for ten shots, swap targets for ten more shots, then change for your, from forehand to backhand and repeat. This is all you'll be working on today. I'll be gathering the balls that you return while keeping an eye on your form so we can make any adjustments needed. Understood. Got it. Yep. Alright, loosen up and we'll get started. You and Dozer went over to the court. Coach Grifter had prepared for you and spent a few minutes stretching and getting ready for practice. He stood in front of you, and as you were stretching, you found your eyes wandering up and down his body. His outfit couldn't hide everything from you, and you caught, uh, and you caught got caught up admiring him. You noticed that you were staring at him, and he grinned before making his pecs bounce up and down. If you're gonna stare, at least I at least I can do is give you something fun to stare at, right? You really should do that while talking with Chester. It won't bother you, will it? It won't bother you, will it? No, why would it bother me? Uh, I don't know, I'm just checking. Now we get started with the drill now. Coach is ready and I'll get now I think we've been stretched enough. Oh sure, let's get started then. Huh. Why do you think I'd be bothered? Move to the baseline with Dozer and wave to Coach to start the ball machine. Dozer wasted no time putting his full strength into his shot, setting it way past the target area. Now it back a bit, Dozer! Work on your aim first, then gradually increase your strength. This drill is about accuracy. Those are paid no heed to what Coach said and hit several more powerful shots before finally laid off and started working on his actual aim. The two of you cycled between shots while Coach refilled the ball machine, shouting pointers across the court while you both worked on hitting the target area. This drill went on for the duration of practice and by the time it was done, you were beat. Man, that workout yesterday and today's practice, I'm not going to be able to walk home at this rate. You okay, Grant? I regret going to the gym. I guess you'll take me up on the offer for a full rub down, right? I think I need it, otherwise I won't make it home. Well, let's say bye to the guys and head off then. We don't want we don't have too much time before it starts getting dark, and I don't want you walking home when once it's too late. Alright, sounds good to me. Man, are you sure you're gonna be able to get back home? I'll make it, don't worry. Alright then, but you know you can crash here if you want. Uh, I'd take you up on that, but I have plans with Maria tonight, and I have and I have none of my school stuff. Oh, that's too bad. Well, let's see if I can't make you feel better before you leave. Should I just lay on the couch? I think it'd be easy if you were on my bed, so off to my room. You just lay on your stomach. I'll put some music. I'll, I'll put on some music and get to work. Okay. You lay down on the bed and pull the pillow up under your head while you waited for him. I usually play something calming when I do this for people at the clinic. It helps them relax. Does this sound alright to you? Yeah, that's fine. Alrighty then. The bed shifted when he sat down and you rolled over towards him. He chuckled and helped slide you back over. 
If what I do hurts you or makes you uncomfortable in any way, just let me know, okay? I want you to enjoy this. Will do, Dozer. So, what hurts you the most right now? He put his hands on your back, kneading his thick fingers gently into your body. My legs and feet hurt the most right now. Alright, is it okay if I take your socks off? Uh, sure, we... We did just finish practice, so they might still be a bit sweaty. Hey! Chef just donated 3.14. It's fine, don't worry about it. I got pretty worked up at practice too, so I'm sure I don't exactly smell like roses. Those are tugged your socks off and tossed them aside before grabbing the back of one of your legs and digging his thumbs into it. Does that feel good? Yeah, it feels great. Good, good. I'll be gentle with it. He worked his fingers from your knee down to your ankle, putting just enough pressure into it to make you groan into the pillow. His hands travel a little higher up, squeezing and rubbing your thighs before working down over your leg again. Since I have you here, I think now would be a good time for us to talk about some things. Like what? Well, he grabbed your foot and squeezed the ball of it with one hand while massaging his fingers into the arch with the other. One thing I'd like to talk to you about is yesterday. Mm-hmm. The whole thing about how he woke up and the trouble it caused with Arvy. Oh. You peeked down at Dozer and he was staring at your foot while he rubbed it. If you want, don't feel pressured to talk about it if you don't want. My mind tends to be really clear when I do this, so I'd like to talk about it. Okay. So one thing that really put some strain on mine and Harvard's relationship was similar to what you woke up to yesterday. Only things were a bit more intense. I was in another state of thinking while I was dreaming, and but I wasn't dreaming. I... Woo! He swapped from one leg to the other and continued talking. I'd rolled over on top of him while he laid beside me on his stomach, and he thought I was just playing with him at first. Apparently I said some really vicious things to him that alarmed him, and he, then he started to plead with me. I just grabbed a pillow and covered his head. The next thing I remembered was yanking his underwear down, and well, before anything else happened, he barked so loudly it snapped me out of it. He wouldn't even listen to me as I tried to apologize to him. He told me even if I thought I was in a dream, it was still fucked up that I was dreaming about raping him. We didn't talk for weeks after that. I really thought we were done. He finally forgave me. <clears throat> but I don't think we ever really got through it. It put a lot of strain on us. Because he would shy away whenever I tried to show him affection. I eventually stopped trying. It's weird. We're still close, but that feeling has been fading a lot. His rubs had become softer and eventually they just stopped altogether. He was left holding your foot. And I don't want that to happen with us too. I was afraid of letting you sleep with me, but I convinced myself I wouldn't. it wouldn't happen again. And wouldn't you know, it happened. He squeezed your foot tightly and you grunted, loud enough that he could hear you. Immediately he released your foot and went back to massaging it. Ah, I'm sorry, didn't hurt you, did I? No, it's okay. So, that's what happened with you and Harvey, huh? Yeah, kinda screwed up, isn't it? I just had to tell you after what happened yesterday. Even if it didn't bother you, you, you deserve to know. Another reason I'm telling you is that well, if, if we do keep spending more time together, it could happen again. If it does, just yell at me. Loud noises seem to snap me out of it. Hell, if you have to hit me, hit me. Maybe a slap across the face will wake me up too. I'll never do something if you tell me to stop. Or that you don't want me to do it. So if I start acting weird, that could be why. I hope you understand that. And I hope I'm, that being honest with you was the best route to take. I know you wouldn't hurt me, Dozer. And I'd much rather you be honest with me than keep secrets. I'd rather that too, you know. 
I don't like having secrets, but there are times when I just can't articulate what I want to say. So, I'll always tell you, I just need to organize things in my head. I understand. Thank you, Dozer, for telling me. Thank you for understanding. Do you have anything else you want to talk about? I still have a back and shoulders that need to be rubbed. Hmm. You do have a little more time before you need to leave. Was there anything you wanted to ask me about? Actually, yeah. What is it? His hands moved from your feet to your lower back and he worked his finger into you once more. Hmm. Uh... I was wondering about something you said earlier. What's that? Why would you be worried about me bother being bothered by you teasing Chester? Ooh, about that. You wouldn't believe it now, but Harvey was a really jealous boyfriend. I flexed for a girl once in the gym when he was with me. She asked if I'd show her how big my bicep was, so I was just being nice. Man, he got so mad at me later. Those are his hands slid up under your shirt and he pushed up toward your shoulder. His hands were so big, but it didn't take long for him to cover your back. It wasn't the only time, though. He got mad for some silly things like that, so I kind of have that mindset now. Heck, he got mad at me once because I took too long to text him back. That was a little irritating. I don't want you feeling jealous or upset because of something like that. That... Uh, that... So... Harmless, though. Those things don't bother me, really. I thought those were trivial things, but he didn't think so. Then again, he was really insecure. He thought I'd leave him the moment some other guy caught my eye, or that I'd suddenly want to be with a woman again. I had to reassure him often that I wasn't gonna up and leave him like that. That's right, you had a girlfriend in high school, didn't you? I did, but I'm not interested in women at all anymore. That feeling faded away when I was with Harvey. He gave your sides a playful grope and shook you around. I can't get what I want with a woman. From a woman. <laughs> I guess I have what you want. Mm-hmm. You heard him chuckle and he went back to rubbing up and down your back. But you know, it's weird Harv is being so gung-ho about pushing us together. I'd have thought he would still be jealous over me. If anything, I would think he'd interfere. You don't think he has another motive, do you? Nah, I don't think so. It probably hurts him a lot to do this, and all I think he wants is for me to be happy. I see. I really hope he can find someone that makes him happy, too. He just has to chill out a little bit. He squeezed your shoulders and then withdrew his hands, placing them flat against your back. How do you feel now? I feel really good, thanks. Your hands are so perfect for this. I'm somewhat hard after his hands went all over me, though. <laughs> I'm glad I can help you feel better. It was kind of my fault you were feeling sore in the first place. Come on now, I think it's about time for you to head home. He patted your butt, letting his hand rest for just a moment on it before he stood and left the room. Whew, I don't have to worry about hiding my boner, at least. He sat on the edge of bed for a moment, waiting for it to die down before he stood up and went to join him. I wish I could stay and chat just a little longer with you. I do too, but you need to get home. I feel a lot better though, getting to tell you all those things. I'm really relieved I got the chance to talk to you about it all. I'm glad we talked about it too, Dozer. Let's always be sure we talk about these kinds of stuff, this kind of stuff with each other, okay? Definitely. You can always tell me anything, too. This isn't just a one-way street, you know. I'll try not to forget. I'm not used to having someone I could talk about, talk to about personal stuff like that. I'm here if you need me. He wrapped his arms around you, nearly crushing you. He squeezed so tightly. <laughs> Thanks again for letting me talk. <laughs> Thanks for... Massage. Anytime. It's just as relaxing for me, so whenever you want, I don't mind putting my hands on you. Shoot me a text whenever you get home. You should get there before it gets too dark. I will. Just so you know, I'm gonna take a shower and make some dinner in case I don't reply. It's all good. I'll talk to you at some point, I'm sure. Yeah. Be safe when you walk home. I will be. I'll talk to you in a bit. Later.
Ah, oh, wait. Huh? He handed you your tree. Oh, wow, I almost forgot again. Me too, I noticed it when I turned around. <laughs> okay, now that I have this, I'll head home. Take care. Despite what Dozer did for me, that walk home still took a lot out of me. Maria, I'm home! Welcome home, Grant! Ooh, is that your bonsai tree? Yeah, this is the one I got for the other day. What kind of tree is it? This one is a maple tree. Ooh, I see! It looks really nice already! It's a starter tree, so I hope I can keep it alive. I'm sure it'll be just fine, especially since you have Dozer to give you pointers. Yeah. How's your day been? It's been nice. Richard took me to the store to get what I needed, and I found exactly what I wanted for you and Dozer. Oh, that's awesome. Here, let me show you what it was. What it is. Mm. She led you over to the table where she had a variety of things waiting. So, this little plastic container acts like a greenhouse, and there are all these little peat pellets, pellets inside that soak up water and expand. Once they're all expanded, we put some seeds in them and put the lid on and stick them in a warm pot. After that, we just keep an eye on it and make sure everything stays moist inside. Once the plants start sprouting and getting bigger, we can take the top off. That sounds really easy. It is. I've used them before to get plants started. It's small enough to fit on your windowsill and your bed in your room too, so you can keep an eye on it. What kind of seeds did you get for it? Let's see... I got a pack of, for, of one called a Moonflower, and then another one called a Philodendron. The Moonflower gets really big, well, white, big, really big white flowers on it. They look really pretty. The others look like it's just some kind of vine. But the leaves are shaped like little hearts. I think it's perfect for you two. <laughs> I see. They both sound really nice, so why don't we get them planted? Let's. It should only take a moment, really. Let me go get some water and we can get it all taken care of. You can really do it by yourself, and I'll cook you dinner while you do. I'll just get- I'll just help you get started. Sounds like a great idea, Maria. Wonderful! I'll bring the water, then you can get started. When Maria returned, she informed you on how to prepare everything and then left you again to prepare dinner. It's not too difficult. I pour the water on the pellet things and wait till they till they stop growing, and then I just break the tops open and put in a few seeds. Wonder how long it takes for them to grow. You said about your task of preparing the seeds it was a quick and easy job, and soon you had a little container of dirt pellets and seeds ready to place in your window. That didn't take long at all, did it? Not at all. Clear off the table and wash your hands then. Dinner will be ready in about 15 minutes. We can eat and then you can relax for the night. Just put the plants in your window and we'll see how things go for a few days. Fantastic! Thanks, Maria! Let's put this in the window. I'll just put my tree beside that. Just need to ask Dozer how often I should use this light. Time to go eat dinner with Maria. Ah, oh, man. That was so nice of Maria to fix food for me. I can finally just sit on my computer and relax for a little bit. Hmm, who's calling me? Oh, it's Dozer. Hey, Dozer, what's up? Hey, Grant. I'm not interrupting your time with Maria, am I? Nah, I'm back in my room for the night. Okay. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was nice just hanging out and chatting with her, and she made a good dinner. Oh, uh, yeah? Early, I need to have her cooking again. It's really good. You should come by this weekend, then. I'll ask her about cooking a meal for us. You took me out last weekend, so it's my turn to do something for you this weekend. Well, that sounds great. If you want, we can even stay over at my place on Friday after our match, and we can hang out on Saturday again. And then we can head to your place for dinner. That sounds like a fun idea. Cool. I'll pick up some things uh, and cook a meal for us to celebrate our victory with. I promise I'll have a better plan this time. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure whatever we do, I'll enjoy it, Dozer. As long as I'm with you, it'll be fun. I feel the same. I'm actually lying in bed right now, just staring at the ceiling. To be honest, I'd normally call Harvey about this time, but... I wanted to talk to you instead. He's not gonna be upset, is he? Yeah, I texted him and told him he seemed okay with it. 
I mean, I can still text him while I chat with you, but it seems weird to call him instead of you now. You are my boyfriend, after all. Alright, everyone's saying two. <clears throat> I am, but I don't mind who you talk to. If it doesn't bother you, I'll still talk with him. Of course not, he's still your friend. He is still really important to me. He was actually, he was my he was my first boyfriend, so he kind of holds a special place for me still. A, sp holds a special piece of me still. It'll take some time to really just see him as only a friend. <clears throat> I don't even know where to start, it's so weird. Well, a good start would be... No more webcam shows, less phone calls, or just give it time. Well, we don't need to be telling him what to do. I think just give it time, it'll work itself out. Really, just give it some time, Dozer. I mean, we just got together, so... You don't need to change anything drastically right now. Just give it some time, and I think things will start to change slowly. Mm, maybe you're right. If I just change how I behave with him right away, it might make him feel bad. And I don't want you to- I don't want to seem controlling, either. You're an adult, and you're free to do what you want. I trust you, too, so I don't think you'll do anything I won't- wouldn't approve of. Man, you don't know how good it feels to hear you say that. I don't know if Harvey really ever trusted me. If he did, he never told me or acted like it. Seems like you two had a fair number of issues. And I never really thought about it before, but it seems so. I think the good outweighed the bad, but the more I think about it, the more I realize we had a lot of problems. I guess us separating was really for the best. Maybe. I mean, you found me, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, do you have any other plans for the night? Nothing planned for me. Just gonna mess around with my computer a bit, then go to bed, I think. How about you? Probably the same thing. I could sleep now if I wanted to. Why resist? Because I'd rather talk with you a bit longer. <laughs> okay, then. Why don't you tell me a little more about yourself? You're fun to hang out with, you're a nice guy, and you're really cute. But I feel like I don't know enough about you. What do you want to know? What are your dreams? Is there anything you really want out of life? My dreams. Hmm. Want a good career, a loving partner, or to travel the world? The majority says two, so we will go with a loving partner. I think one dream of my life was to find a really loving partner. A partner? Yeah, having that perfect someone to spend my life with is a big dream. I feel like no matter what's going on in life, if I have someone who loves me, loves and supports me, I think life will be great. <laughs> That's a nice dream. Someone who always supports you would be great. Do you think... Yeah, wait, never mind that. What is it? Nothing really, just a silly thought. Keep talking though, I want to hear more. I enjoy hearing you talk. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. This is hard, I don't talk about myself much. Tell me more about you and Spencer. You've been friends for a while, right? Uh, yeah, we have been. We've been friends since elementary school. It all started because I was getting picked on and he stepped in to help me. Ever since that, we've been friends. We spent a lot of time at his house, playing video games and whatnot with his brothers. I think he has three younger ones, and the older one was never really around. Mm, and you have a crush on him, right? I, I do. I started developing feelings for him in high school. I started to notice how handsome and outgoing he was. It was a confusing time in my life. It sucked, because I never got to tell him. Being gay wasn't generally accepted. And I didn't want to risk ruining my friendship with him. Spencer is really dear to me. You could say he acted like Harvey for you, but... Uh, me and Spencer never dated. I don't know how obvious- how- I don't know if he knows I'm gay or not, still. Do you think it's obvious? Dozer? Snore. He fell asleep? Dozer. Snores louder. Uh, I suppose this conversation is done. Sleep well, Doze. I'll sit around a little bit longer and see if he wakes up. If not, oh well, I'll sleep soon too. 